It's time to take a look at the updated version of the Wismic MyJet. How's it going everybody? This is Andy with AspenValleyVapes.com and about a week ago I did cover the Wismec MyJet and I did say it had a lot of potential as a great device overall. Now Wismec did see that video and they did reach out to me and asked if I want to do a follow-up video on the updated version of the Wismec MyJet. I said of course. Now I was a huge fan of that device as you guys know. It just had some problems that were just holding it back from being a great device. So of course I said yes and they did send it over and I've been using this updated version for about three to four days now and I am really liking it. Now this video isn't going to cover everything like the first video so if you do want to check that out if you didn't see the first video there'll be a link popping up up top and then there'll also be a link in the description to check out that video where I do cover everything now if you do watch that video obviously be sure to take into note the things I mentioned in this video because that was on the previous non updated version of the MyJet so this is just gonna be a quick little update video here because it's not really fair to Wismec for having that video out there when they do have an updated version available now on to the updated version though so I have been vaping on it a few days now the dry hits are gone I've tried a bunch of different liquids in here I've tried the 50-50 blends, I've tried 60-40, 70-30 max VG, and I'm not having any dry hit issues on this one. I can chain vape it without a problem. So that's fantastic that the dry hit feature has been fixed because that was just a real pain and was just holding this device back. Now onto the replacement pods. I know a lot of you guys like to refill your own pods. It makes it easier. You can choose what liquid you have in there. You can change the nicotine real quick. You can change your flavor pretty easily. So I do want to cover the pods. Now the unfilled replacement pods, they do still have that problem where it's a little bit hard. You got to get something in there to pry it off. Like you guys saw in the original video, you got to sort of stick something in there, make a gap and pry it off. And as you guys also saw in the video, sometimes the coil sorts of, sort of comes apart when that happens. It's just not a seamless process, you know. It's not as easy as just like when you have a tank, for example. You, un you twist off the top, you pour in your e-liquid, and you're ready. On these, it's sort of like a three-step process. You have to stick something in between there, pry it off, and then if it doesn't come out in one portion, you're gonna have to sort of piece it back together and make sure you get the O-ring back on there and all of that. Like in that original video, you saw that sometimes only the bottom portion of the coil will come out and the top portion stays in there. That can be a problem too. To the type of vapor that just wants something easy and convenient, it does, it just adds that extra burden on there. It's just not as easy as opening up your tank and filling it up. It's a little bit more difficult. To me, it's not personally really a big deal for the convenience factor. It's worth it to put in that extra little step. But if you're just a casual vapor and you don't really know what you're doing and you pull that out and you're like, oh, this part came out, but that portion is still in there. What do I do? Should I still fill it up? Should I put it in there? It just adds a little bit of confusion there. So that's definitely something to take note of. I really enjoy this pod system because you can have a bunch of these little pods lined up, have a bunch of different flavors. Say you have 12 milligram nicotine, you know you're not gonna be able to vape for a while. Maybe, you're, maybe you have a meeting, maybe you're doing something where you just can't vape, but you know you can get a few vapes in every once in a while. So if there was a situation like that where you knew you weren't gonna be able to really vape, maybe a few vapes every hour or something, you just have your pod with the higher nicotine, pop it in and you're ready. When you know you're gonna be vaping a lot more and you don't want that higher nicotine, you pop it out and you put your other pod in there. It's that simple. These pods run about $3.99 for a replacement one, so you could have a bunch of different flavors lined up. You can switch flavors super easily. It's easier than taking off a tank. You just pop it off, put a new one in, and you're ready. It's that simple. It's plug and play. It's very nice. If they could only fix the refilling the cartridges and make it just a little bit easier, I would be 100% on board for this. Right now I'm like 95. I think it is still good. You do want to take note about the hassle about refilling. I mean, in all honesty, it probably takes you a minute to refill it if you do have some complications or if you do have like say part of the coil come out. It only takes about a minute to get everything back together. Like I said, nothing's going to be 100% perfect. I mean, if they could fix that, oh, if they could fix that, this thing would be awesome. They did fix the dry hit, so who knows, maybe they will. If they could get that worked out, it would be one of my favorite devices. Just because it's such a simplistic, easy, pocket-friendly device, easy to take with you. Yeah, the battery life is not big, but you do know that going into it, and they do have the PCC extender just like on the iCare Mini. So the actual differences between this version and then the updated version right here, they look exactly the same as you can see here. And I looked through the coils, I looked at the cartridges, I was looking at everything, and it did take me a little bit to see what was different. I knew there was an increased airflow, so I'm looking around here trying to see what's going on and then I finally noticed they added an airflow hole on the side of the unit here a very tiny pinpoint style airflow hole it gives you a little bit better airflow so that is the main feature at least from what I can see on the act on the updated version compared to this there's those two little holes but there's not that tiny pinpoint hole there so that is the main difference from what I've seen the coils look the same the pods look the same everything's the same but that tiny little airflow hole it makes a big difference overall though I'm really happy Wismic was able to update this and make 
the dry hit issue a thing of the past. Now you can chain vape it without having a problem. I did notice the vapor production did go down just a tad bit. There's a lot of factors that can contribute that too. I was mainly using Moku in the other one, which is a higher VG liquid. Right now, I believe I have a 60-40 blend in here, so that's gonna change the vapor production. But overall, I am very happy with this updated version. If you guys have any question about the MyJet, let me know down in the comments or any vaping related questions in general, and I'll be happy to get back to you. I apologize about the lack of a video yesterday. Having some camera problems, I think I still am, so if this looks a little weird or sounds a little weird, I do apologize. Still trying to get that worked out. As you guys know, I've been pretty much doing a video Monday through Friday, having one up, and that is my goal. There might be some days I do miss every once in a while. A couple of the things I have in the queue right now, I've got a couple Inakin devices, I've got um, the Nugget V2, some Lost Vapes stuff, the other Joytech AIO internal battery box, I've got that there some RME products. It's the Kangertex brother company. I've got some of those products here. If there's any specific products you guys want to see or any comparison videos, like a comparison video between the MyJet and the Elite E-Leaf Eye Care, let me know down in the comments. Again, I really appreciate all your guys' support. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and vape on.